What's up, all my fellow hog knobbers? Today we are going to redneck 101 something together. We're going to see. Well, it does. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to make me an ice chest cooler. Am I going to use it for ice? Probably not, but it can store other things. But before all you say, it's unsafe, blah, 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 blah. Bullshit, because you drive around with a damn battery full of acid underneath your hood of your car, probably less than a half a foot to a foot from gas lines. Either way, here's what I'm going to do. I'm taking this battery that's got a full charge. I'm going to put it in this cooler. I'm not sure if I, about that one or not. Probably not my Gator one. I'm going to take this truck CD out of my CD player. I got the antenna for it right here. See, for so AM, FM radio. It's got an auxiliary port and USB. <gasps> and it's been running on the battery for about three hours now. And then I believe this is a 180 watt or 210 watt JVC stereo head unit. I pull it out of my truck because I'm not using it. And I always wanted an ice chest cooler, but damn, I'm sitting there thinking I got everything to kind of make one. I don't think it'll be too much heavier than any cooler I already pull around. That battery only weighs about 20 pounds. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put that in the ice chest, secure it, take that CD player here, cut a hole in the lid, mount it with actually the mounting uh, mechanism that was in my truck. Here's the locking me mechanism. And then the front of the screen. Yeah, I'm going to mount it in there. I'm going to have, when I lay the lid like this, this is going to be kind of like my little cubby hole where I can set my cell phone in when I'm running auxiliary. But yeah, this should be fun. As I sit here and make, ooh, my ricey, 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 ricey. And this uh, red beans, rice, and sausage to all my fellow boop tubers. But anyways... I was just going to give it a, I was just giving a random whatever fucking video. Yeah, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my CD player on my truck that I don't use, cut a hole on top of one of my old ice chests that I don't use. I got everything in here I need. I got a battery charger for the bat, old battery that I had extra laying around. I don't use. None of this stuff I use. I'm just throwing it together and making an ice chest cooler. The only thing I might have to buy is two wheels for the ice chest and drill a hole through. Then I don't know, I might just go buy one of those cheap little, you know, little carry-on dollies or something. Just fucking pull it around. I can throw my, if I go fishing, I can throw some fishing gear in there. I ain't going to worry about it, you know. I'm not really worried about putting anything wet or that has to be cold inside there. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do, people. And I'll have more with this video as it goes along. Later. Hello, my fellow peeps. How's everybody doing? As you know, I told everybody I was going to be making this ice chest cooler. Just trial and error. Well, I decided on which ice chest I wanted to do, and I used this ice chest. My deck unit's going to go here, two speakers here, and if I feel like using anything for storage, I can. Haven't quite decided on the battery I'm going to use yet, but like I said, this is not to keep things cold. It's not to be lugging around. I'm going to put some wheels up under it. It's for outside yard use, blah, blah, blah. But I had this battery hooked up to it for six hours. Did not kill the battery. Uh, you got to think, you know, I mean, people, some people might, like, well, you're going to burn shit down. Not really, because think about it. You're grounded. You're good. You got a fuse. I'm going to have a safety switch on it with a fuse in it that kicks out if anything happens. And plus, when you're in your car and you're not running your car, what do you think you're running off of? A battery dipshit. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I got these old little speakers. Right here, that I'm gonna uh, drop in here. And uh, all this cost me nothing now. Is all I had to do was get my jigsaw out for this and for that. And a hole saw. Other than that, more later. As you can see, my speakers are in place. It's just a test fit. This box fits really nice and tight. It's the box that goes around this. You flip out these little things in here. To, so it won't pull forward. This is gonna slide right in there perfect. I'm gonna take my screws and screw my holes to there. 
And then I'm gonna have my deck facing go on it. Yeah! Right, I got everything test fitted. Here's what she looks like. Everything was free. Everything looks up here like this. I gotta run my antenna from here. I'm gonna run it out the top somehow. I got this battery in here right now. Some people say, why'd you do it that way? Again, it was free. I'm rednecking a ice chest radio to roll around outside. We're gonna test ride it now. We're testing it out. I haven't put my cutoff switch in there yet, my safety switch, but I'm gonna turn it on. Stick a CD player in there, CD. And yes, I've had this thing running for about six hours yesterday before it was all together. Let's see if it reads the CD. Ah! Can't play it too much because then there's copyright infringements. But anyways, it works out pretty good. One more time. <gasps> anyways, people, that's how you make a redneck homemade ice chest radio out of what you have around the house that you didn't pay shit for. I'm gonna do my connectors, I'm gonna heat shrink my connectors and put my switch in here and I'm good to go, people, but there you go. Homemade ice chest radio. I'm gonna probably get a smaller battery. So, and I'm gonna encase all this, encase the battery. And I should be good to go. All right, folks. Later on. Yeah. Thanks all for watching. You, for all those that are wondering, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna get some bed, some Rhino bed liner spray and spray the whole thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'll be able to charge off this if I need to. Auxiliary, whichever way. The paint is drying. Once it's done drying, I'm gonna spray paint it with some lacquer. All right, my fellow peeps, I got the paint done. I used to vent cover things for this to cover the speakers up, screwed them in. There she goes. I know, the cranberries. Uh huh. But yeah, man. Yeah! I could charge a battery off this, or a phone, I mean. Auxiliary, all the good shit. Rednecking ways. <laughs>